We don't recommend you to repeat actions that showed in this video. We know what we do and follow safety rules. Someone's grandma left old watch as a legacy that aren't functioning now and can't be repaired. We almost wanted to throw them away, but while looking at it closely, we saw a U stamp on housing. Getting Mendeleev table, we understood these watches are gold-plated. We wanted to get gold, but it wasn't easy as it seemed. First, we need to disassemble a watch. Just look at these tiny details inside. Taking off a glass, we understood that watch was damaged or water, because on the dial we could see a lot of oxidation and mold. All things inside needs to be disassembled, because some gears are covered with precious metals. Do the same process with other watch. We got few details with gilding. And taking a little bit of water with cleaning liquid, we cleaned it from a dirt. After this, put this piece in a lab plate and put protective gloves and goggles. You must have decent ventilation or do experiments outside. We need about 100 grams of nitric acid, which we pour inside of a bulb. Right away, chemical reaction starts, where it emits brown gas. This results from nitric acid starts to dissolve metals. Acid starts change the color from green to bright blue. It looks extraordinary. We were lucky because nitric acid doesn't dissolve gold. It makes only with inner metallic parts and other details of casing. So it means it dissolves everything except gold. Now we get other bulb with funnel and pour our substance inside through a filter. So by chance spitting particles of gold left there. Gold that left on the bottom we need to pour with water and carefully clean from acid. Pay attention that acid destroyed only inner part of casing, which were from different metal, leaving only gold shell. Then we took about 70 ml of hydrochloric acid poured to a gold. After that, add more 70 ml of nitric acid. This substance of acid have even more power of dissolving metals, and it can dissolve even our gold. For speeding process we took a hot plate, put to the container with general sand and put sand to the bowl. When increasing temperature, chemical reaction go faster. Now we need to increase temperature on the stove and leave substance to evaporate until it won't shrink 2-3 times. After this add more hot water until same quantity and evaporate again. In this process we got a little bit of sludge. That's why we take different container and transfer their substance with gold through a filter. And filter itself rinse with water so it won't have any precious gold liquid. Then we need iron sulfate and about 50 ml of hot water. Where we put? Mix with glass stick. Now put both liquids so it will properly heat up. After that we pour half of a sulfate into yellow substance. The color of a liquid changed and we can leave it on the stove for about 20 minutes. Constantly mix it, then pour liquid to other glass. And we can see black sludge on the bottom, that's our gold. Yeah, it has different color, but we will fix it. We only need to rinse it few times with water and dry it on the stove. Meanwhile we prepared borax. Take a piece of brick and pour dried powder with the gold. Underneath, set up a container with the water. Now we sprinkle gold, take gas torch, 
and start hitting a brick and then metal itself. After a few minutes it melts and wins to a small ball, which we need to add other smaller pieces. When all gold is gathered, put it in the water and after cooling it down, take out and what we got here? Golden bead. All you probably wonder how much it weighs. 71 of 100 grams. Pretty good considering the fact that gold has higher standard. Almost without any contamination, unlike gold which is sold in the store. Don't forget about bell next to subscribe button, you will never miss next episodes.